Hey, this is D. Orlando Fortune. I welcome you back to another take of Inspirational Talks. Today, I just want to give you a, a little bit of feedback on this past series and what we're going to look forward to in the next series coming out in this, in this early this spring. So, stay tuned. You're going to like this review and look forward to what we're going to be talking about next series. It's going to be powerful. <music> So again, all you no doubters out there, I thank you for staying tuned to this whole series and just changing some things in your life as we continue to move towards a life of no doubt, just blessings. You see, this last series we spoke about action. So we've, we've talked about some real things. What are real things? That is reading, experience, associating, and listening to real things because that's what real life is about. It's always about changing and growing and getting around the right information and getting around the right people to move you in the direction that you want to you want to move in. Because real life ain't about sitting still and just 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 watching TV all day, man, or listening to music videos or staying on YouTube videos. Unless you're watching my videos, if you're watching my videos, we're good. <laughs> but real things is about again getting into some good books. Getting some good information in your head in whatever area you want to move forward in in your life. It's about associating with the right people who are doing the right things in their lives that are always uplifting you. There are being around people that are life enrichers. And then also listening to 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 seminars, to to uh, going out here to speakers, whether that's your your reverend, your reverend or pastor or whatever you whatever religion you may be about, and or going out and just Listening to some old folk or some um, people in business who have some experience. Just getting around those people. Now, the next thing we also talked about is the DARE principle. That is, the diff what is the difference between someone and between a dream and real experience? The difference between a dream and a real experience is taking action. So I dared you to take action on some things, something, one thing in your life that you wanted to have changed. Take action on that thing. I dare you to do that every single day. I know the dare was one just that day. Now it's something you have to do is make it a habit of taking a dare on taking action on something that you want to have changed in your life. Taking that dare every single dare. Yeah, day. So you're going to be scared sometimes. Yes. It, makes, it may seem daunting. Yes. But do it anyway. Just take action. Okay. And that we also talked about getting out of comfort zones. You see, we talked about what box. Remember that? What box? You know, there's no point of being worried, stuck in yourself in a box. What box? There's no box to be worried about. Got to get outside of our comfort zone because those things that we want are just outside of our comfort zone. We got to stretch ourselves in order to get there. Talked about getting new, creating new habits and that we are creatures of habit and that when one way to successfully can change through some things about our, ourselves, the personality and our behavior is changing our habits. And I gave you some, a little, uh, Example of how to change your habits are using uh, a spreadsheet that I've created. Now look forward to that book that's coming out here over the next few weeks. You're looking in the beginning of March, look out for this book that's coming out for you. Specifically talking about some, some of these life-changing habits and focused around being able to change habits and using this spreadsheet. And how powerful it is, powerful it is just to track those things in your life. Because again, the next part we talked about is what you track has an impact. You see, we want to always understand what our results are so we know what to change and how, and, and as we change those things, what results we're getting so we can change them again. What results we're getting, we change them again so we can continually make it a process of growth, something that we are, we are actively involved in doing. Then we talked about moving forward and forget, having selective amnesia. You see, we got to stop reaching back into the mess. Remember the baby, my, my daughter, reaching back into the mess as I was changing her diaper and to say, no, don't do that. Don't reach back into the mess. And then we last, we spoke about the slight edge. And that we're doing certain things consistently over an extent, a sustained period of time will create our success. We've got to focus on the disciplines. Because being dis our disciplines will get us what we want. But while, it, while on the other side, if we're undisciplined, we'll also get to failure. So remember this action series. Go back and review these vid videos that are on there. You go to my YouTube channel, D. Orlando Fortune, that's Orlando with an A, like Orlando, Florida, but with an A, D. Orlando Fortune. Go on there and check out this last uh, season of Action Series, and go out and check last Faith, the Faith Series from last 
um, last season, and some other videos that's on there, okay? But now, as I promised, the next series we're going to be talking about in the, in the spring is on focus. What is focus? Why is it important? Some examples of how focus helps change your life. And um, what, why is focus so important? Because we can start taking a lot of action sometimes and just get sporadic and just consider ourselves being busy but not focused on what it is that we really need to get done. There's certain activities we need to do in order to get our accomplish our goals, not just busy work. So next series is on focus. I look forward to talking to you again. All you no doubters out there, keep coming back so we can help get you to a life of no doubt, just blessings. Because you can have all those things that you want in your life. God wants you to have them, if only you believe. I love you.